Okay, let's do some math for fun. And to make this more fun, I'm going to blindfold myself. And we'll do an integral right here. The integral of the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. We'll do a trick up. Let x equal to sine theta. And then we'll just differentiate both sides. So dx is equal to cosine theta d theta. And then take the integral to the theta world. We will get the integral of the square root of 1 minus x is sine, and we have to square that, and then have the theta, and then dx is cosine theta d theta. And now if you look at this, 1 minus sine squared theta is cosine squared, and then in the square root, so square root and square cancel, so we have cosine theta here, but times another one. So inside here we have just cosine squared theta. And to integrate this, we will just use the trick identity, which is 1 half times 1 plus cosine of 2 theta. And now of course we still have the d theta here. And now we will integrate this. We still have the 1 half at the front. Integrating 1 in the theta world with theta. And then the integral of cosine is plus d sine. And inside we have a 2, right? So we have to divide it by the 2 because 2 theta and you have to divide it by its derivative reverse chain rule. So we'll just add 1 half sine. 2 theta, like this. Don't worry about the plus c because technically we are not done yet. Now, I'll distribute the 1 half inside. So we have 1 half theta. And we have to add 1 half times 1 half. I know that's 1 over 4. But the reason is because sine square, uh, sine of 2 theta is 2 sine theta, cosine theta. So the 1 half and the 2 cancel. And we will get 1 half theta plus 1 half sine theta cosine theta. And now we just have to go back to the x world. x is equal to sine theta. So theta is equal to inverse sine. So 1 half inverse sine x. And then we add 1 half. Well, earlier we were talking about x is equal to sine theta, so sine theta is equal to x, so this is x. And then cosine theta, well, cosine theta is the same as square root of 1 minus sine squared, because we used it over there, right? So this is just going to be square root of 1 minus x squared. And then with all that, we are done. <laughs> Not long enough, but... That, that, that was pretty good. This part was pretty good. <laughs> yes. Well, what do you guys think?